So I already put in 10 bucks and at 25, so 15 more, my goal is to finally open the uh, Burning Shadows expansion pack thing that I have. And it's a full one that I haven't opened. I bought it a while ago. Recently, I got this as well. Um, took a while to come in, but it's pretty cool. It's actually a bunch of magic cards, if I can even open this one. It's literally, I have two of these. It's like 400 cards or so, and I have two, and I haven't even, like, I'll look at one real quick. Combo attack. One combo magic card, but I got some lots off of eBay just to see what I get. Um, and honestly, a lot of these these cards too, like I'm not just buying them like because it's trend right now. I want to actually play some of these. Uh, of course, if I get anything like super lucky or rare, I would have to do the research. But my my ultimate goal is to actually, since I do play tabletop games and things like that and card games, my ultimate goal is to actually play them with Rachel um, sometimes. But uh, both of us would have to learn it so but still um I, I think it's cool to to have and maybe one day if uh things go back to normal if there's like a uh an event nearby or something i know a few shops that hold like game events things like that that would be cool to attend but anyways um i was gonna play earlier today a little bit but i never got around to it so we're literally picking up where I left off last night. And before we do that, let me see where we're headed here. Uh, unable to open map this time. I think it is over here. I guess we'll see. How's keto? So it's okay um i was so i put out a tweet the other day on sunday that i was like dude i haven't really been doing a lot of fast recently like typically i don't eat anything until like 12 or so but um i used to do like every day like 16 hour fast and then like the eight hour window of having like lunch and dinner uh, with lunch being just like a protein shake. But I haven't done that for a while because I used to do that while I was working and everything. Um, so I kind of fell off pretty heavy for that kind of stuff. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a four, four day, 95 hour fast. Dude, I caved within the first 24 hours. So then I was like, you know what? Maybe going from not fasting every day the fasting for four days isn't the best idea. So I figured today I'm going to do it after and I'm, I'm going to actually follow through with it because that's only 48 hours. So if I have dinner in like an hour and a half to two hours and I don't have another meal until Christmas Eve, then that's 48 hours right there. So I have fasted that long before I've done the most I've ever done, I set a goal for 72 hours. The most I've ever done, I uh, was like, I caved like a few hours before. Cause it was like one of those where I started at one night. I didn't have anything the next day. I didn't have anything the next day. And then it was like 12 o'clock and it was like five hours. And like either somebody ordered food or uh, somebody was making food and I was like, you know what? I've made it to the third day. I just didn't make it to the third like hour, you know, so I never officially did like 72 all the way through, but I have done um, I have done at least like it was like 68 hours um, That kind of stuff I don't find actually too bad, especially like once you get that past that threshold of the 24 hours it's been a while since I did one, but um, it's usually not really that bad because you're just chugging a bunch of water 
the entire time and then when you get hungry you're just like chug water or you just do stuff to keep yourself busy um but yeah you didn't eat anything for 72 hours not 70 well it was more like 68 like i have friend i have a friend or two that that have done them where it's like all the way through um my one buddy did one i have one friend that did a fast for an entire month but he it's not like a full fast it's more of like a water and like yogurt or something like that type of fast and he did really well i don't know i don't really like he wasn't really close of a friend but like he was somebody he was somebody in my unit and he he came out of it really good and everything and then he just stuck with like a regular diet afterwards um my other buddy he did like he does every once in a while like i have one friend i think he thinks that i'm doing it right now but i was like bro uh going from that's where i hit it is where i said like going from not fasting every day to doing four out four days like cold turkey that's tough to do two days i think i can do i don't think i should have an issue with doing 48 hours of because you're you're just resetting you just have to break that threshold and once you break that 24 then you break the 30 and then it's like okay now now you're just fasting like a regular day um yeah he did that guy he dropped a lot of weight like really fast because he it's literally all he was doing um but that was on accident yeah and and that's where i feel like a lot of this stuff like kind of helps is like if you're doing it like a lot of times it's easy to just forget to not eat anything yeah exactly like the times where i did like actually lose weight um like a year ago i was a lot lighter than i am right now but that's also when I was drilling and everything uh, and working full time and all that stuff. But like when I did lose weight, a lot of it like was the point of like when you kind of you wake up or like you're you're hungry at first, but then you kind of like do stuff and then you're you're busy throughout the day. And then like when it came to like, oh, right now I usually eat something. Sometimes I would be like, but am I actually hungry? Like, do I actually need something? And I feel like that helped a lot. Um, but now it's trying to get back into that. Cause then once you break that and you're used to eating at specific times or like around a specific area, then it's like, okay, now I need to, you know, try to figure something else. Never forget, uh, forget to eat. I don't know how people could do that. I, I not for, I, I don't feel like there's a way you can forget. I think it's just, you just don't, eat, you know, cause you don't want to like have to eat something at some specific time, you know? All right, let's get started for today, but we can continue talking about this, but now it's just sitting here. I'll just be busy doing something and then I'll be like, oh wait, I forgot to eat. I'll just do it later. Then it repeats. Plans out my meals in advance. Yeah, see, that's... I, I feel like you don't really forget if you plan them out in advance. Because then it's like, okay, you already have everything pre-set and ready to go. Which can be uh, good, you know. Defeat the pirates and protect uh, the victory. Where are we headed? same i feel like that's my biggest issue too is like I, I like good food and that's why like i try to like that's where i feel like keto comes in handy because you can filter out um if you filter out like carbs and bread and things like that that's like okay what do you eat chicken steak like all that good stuff Food is just too good, man. It tastes too good sometimes. And it's just like, why do you, why do you have to taste so good?
but uh, I'm now it's pet. Oh, you can't summon here. Food is always good though. I've been wanting to like get like a good steak the last like two days or so. I haven't actually gone like anywhere to get one or, or anything like that. They need to like I I know you can order food or like you can order steak online. Like I've done like Omaha and um there's another place I ordered steak from before too. And like they're good. But like they're still so expensive and it's just like I, I feel like one day we'll be there but I can't wait until like all these boomer businesses like boomer local businesses when they're run by their millennial son or millennial daughter or whoever or zoomer um they're going to be the ones that incorporate like online delivery or online order like if there was a butcher shop nearby me where I could just like go onto their website and be like, okay, I want I want this, this, and this, place an order, pay for it, go there, and they just hand me it without having to go there and look at everything and be like, oh, I want that, oh, I want that, oh, I have questions about that. Like, if I could do that, I 100% would do that. And it's half the time it's cheaper too, because then it's just you go there, you know what you're getting, and then you walk out. But half these butcher, butcher shops are run by all these boomers that don't do that and don't have that capability. Because they're like, nah, I've got my locals to come in. And uh, that's fine too. But I don't like going there and being like, hey, um, can I get that one? Can I get that one? Can I get one of those? Oh, you want the... Yeah, blah, blah 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 I don't know. Steak's good though. Love steak. You whipped that book out. What I wanted to do today too is have a, a good meal before I do that 48. I feel like a 48 I, I can definitely do. It's just I need to figure out what I'm gonna actually have. I wanna have like something uh, protein heavy. Steak and eggs is always a great choice. Personally, wait, where's my pet? Ah. Keeps getting healed. It's by this silent black. Oh my god. What was your last class before you stopped? Uh, I was playing a uh, the one mate, the THM. I always pronounce it horribly. The thumbage or something like that. Um Tourage. I don't I don't even know how to say that. But I hit level 37 as it. And then I just got like I just stopped fighting. So I did hit the uh uh whatever it was I uh, black was a black magic or something like that whatever it delves into black mage okay so yeah I did hit black mage 
and then I just stopped um because I was like not I, I don't think it was because I wanted to stop I think it was more of like uh it was a little bit of that it was more of like the it was very grindy for a bit I wasn't like super into the story and then I think another game came out or something so then I started playing that instead and then I kind of just never returned but playing Dragon's Dogma last week reminded me of the like style of this game and the world and everything I was like you know what maybe it's time to revisit it and try again so I got the same feeling when I branched off doing healer that's why I feel like see I was gonna go archer too but I feel like going uh, a summoner class that's actually not like too bad because it, I don't know I don't think I could do another um, THM how do you do you know how to how do you pronounce it not sure I'll enjoy archer you do get like bard abilities um um is it thaumaturge 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 is that actually how you say it thaumaturge thaumaturge yes thaumaturge okay thaumaturge is the purported cap capability purported capability of a magician to work magic or other paranormal events or a saint to perform miracles interesting um alma turge got it i think i don't know if i remember that but um i don't think doing that creating another one of those would really be like fun for me currently the other thing too and i probably have it in my loadout like this fantasia or Fantasia. Um, on that character, I really did not like the way that they looked. He looked like really old and rough. And I was that that's one of the things is where I was like, can I change my character's look? And the game was like, no. And then at least maybe now I have that item where I can change it. But I was like, uh, I think I started a new character because of that. And then I started a new character on a new server because the starter edition only lets you make the one character per, s per world. Um, so I did that as well. And then I that second character that I created was another Thaumatar Thaumaturge. And then I was like, I got super burnt out because I got them to level 12. And then I was like, okay, done. But now we're at 17 as a, um, as this thing. So I guess it's not too bad, I feel like, so far. See where it ends up going. But I'm enjoying, uh, this class. I feel like we have, the, the damage over time abilities are pretty cool. The one thing that I honestly do really, really like about this game is that you can stick with one character and continue to level them and continue to to change jobs or classes and things like that. I think that is a really cool aspect of the game. Being able to do that. Yeah. Changing on the fly is really cool. So Yobex, what how many um how many like what's your main and how many jobs have like you leveled? But uh I don't know what I would work on next. I feel like the uh, the samurai and the dragoon and uh, the gunslinger, all those would be cool to work on. 
Oh, the other thing too that that's kind of like pulled me back into this game is the um I, I i just always hear so many good things about the story for the expansions as if like they're giant games in themselves so that's kind of like where it pulled me back into where i wanted to experience that i just hate these the text like cutscenes moments i feel like it, it breaks my immersion so much Stop playing like a year ago. But I really like being a healer no matter what. Did White Mage and Branch the Scholar? Okay. See, I'm, I'm always looking for like that different vibe of like an MMO other than like Star Wars. But I feel like I'm so used to every cutscene being voice acted from Star Wars and so like RPG-ish that it like not every MMO is going to be like that and it hurts me. Truth be told the script is only bloody fun. Like I can't I don't have the attention span to read all this but I try to. And they say paragraphs upon paragraphs each time. But the cutscenes I'll watch, no problem. Those two people are walking away. It's so funny being a healer, it's in insta queue. Yeah, I noticed for each one that I've queued up for, it takes me like five of the six minutes. The you know, most MMORPGs I played, Final Fantasy isn't the most crazy. What do you mean? Speaking of, uh, maybe I should queue up for today. Do I have the Marauders Guild unlocked? I do, but... They want to be a Culinarian. Thousand words. I'm gonna go over here grab this one and then go over to the Marauders Guild. Oh, maybe I don't have that one. I thought I did. Okay. I will say the, the world is very cozy and like um my big thing is i i definitely want to see that customization like for your character how they look and everything Assault on Swift Perch. Even so, be foolish to discount the possibility Darren is rarely wrong with such matters. Marshal the yellow jack jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. Report. Metal large scale assault on South Tidegate and threaten to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements by navigator. Uh, it seems my decision has been made. Muster the troops and give order to march. I will Swiss perch and speak with uh, that person. Okay. I think, is that where these two things are as well? No. No, that's in uh, to, the, to the left, Aleport. 
We went there for a little bit, but not too long. I tried messaging a free company. I'm going to see if they're online. Um, there was a specific free company that I found yesterday that I was interested in. And then I also, there's so many like community things for this game, which I do think is really cool. Um, like where you can make friends and other things like that. Um, I think that stuff is, is neat. And also the support for this game's website, as far as like information on job, um, job guides and resources that you can find. It's crazy that it's like they built their own like wiki for everything. Which is really neat. I, I have a lot of respect for that. And I think that's really neat that like instead of finding an, an outsource uh, job guide or playlist or things like, I don't know, that kind of thing. You can just go straight up to their website and there's everything there for the most part. Free company. I'm just trying to find where I was at. Here we go. Yeah, it's very intuitive stuff. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, see, it says like I have a notification. I don't know if that's a notification for this character. Uh, I'm gonna see if this person's online because if they are, then I'm gonna send them a message potentially. Yeah, there's like cross world link shells. Then there's like friend groups and then there's free companies. And then there's like, there's a lot of community interaction, which I, I think is cool in that part. So let's see if we can get this to work. Player search, search conditions. So I don't know exactly how this works. Nice search. First name and last name. This is where I linked up with a couple of IRL friends on this game. Skies. Execute. But then when I search, they don't show up. But then when I go to this thing, this is them. If my game, my game's in the way. Because my game's in full screen. This is the person. Is there a way you can add somebody from the website? Level 80 and everything. Ah, astrologian. They're level 71. I see a 60. Oh, bloom age, they're 60. But, uh, yeah. It doesn't. Not sure how the adding works. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Friends list? Player search, search conditions. I know someone that could help, but they're offline. They're a pro. I kind of want to get this done before, like I start leveling and everything, because if I do that, then I uh, I won't have to you know like worry about. Um. Do you have to like toggle these? Oh. Maybe if I do all these, execute. I'll to, let me look out to add friend. F, 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 X, I, B. Pushing on adding friends. Uh, need to be on the same server. Same for black, 
blacklist. You need to be online at the same time in order to add the other player or appear in the search. Also add them as friends. Ah, okay, they need to be online. So I'm assuming by searching and not seeing that they're online, they're not online, that I can't add them. So, okay. But yeah, I think, I don't know. There's a lot of like really cool, like social things in this. Let me see if I can actually, so if you go to what, it's like fellowship finder. So this is like a group of players, I think. And then it tells you what server they're on as well. I think, homeworld. So if I try to find a Genova one, pirates. Does it tell you how many people are in it? 16. But it probably doesn't matter for fellowships because I think it's just like, Bumble. I see this guy everywhere. Oshi Sushi. He has like a, a Bumble, Tinder, uh, Plenty of Fish, uh, all types of stuff in the game. Ellis Cafe. Some of them have a lot of people in them too. Community finder, this takes you to the website, I think. Shouldn't have left that. Uh, yeah, eHarmony. <laughs> Let desire consume your soul. 880, the pun hub, aha. Graveyard shift. Looking at like which ones have a lot of people. Boiled egg. Ah, oh, perfect. Greatest fellowship of all time. A Reddit? There's an official Reddit one? Oh, cool. Yes. You talk to anyone? How does that work? Let me press this, and then if I go to log four, and then maybe if I go to, these are link shells. Yeah, what's going on, it's Annie. How you doing? Uh, I guess we'll just get rid of that one again. Uh, actually, is there what? Wait, can you delete it? Delete tab. There we go. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I feel like those shirts. Yeah, thank you very much. I forgot. <laughs> I appreciate them. Also, thank you for the follow there. I was like, I saw the eight Y in the, in the, the letter that I have right here, actually. And I was like, wait, I feel like that's a notification, uh, like a, a hint, but I didn't put two and two together until you, you responded in it. So I appreciate that. Yeah. They're really cool. I was actually thinking about putting on the, the taskmaster one today. But I put on this one instead. But I have them in my uh, my good drawer, ready to ready to go there. <laughs> but thank you, I, I appreciate that a lot. Good stuff. Hopefully, oh yeah, today's Tuesday, so I think my the person I got stuff for should have received it by now should be receiving it today. Ah. OK. 
Here they come. The big boys. It's all now. He ain't turning our backs. With <laughs> perch was the target. I He failed. What? What failed? What? Why did we fail? You're above max on level. I'm just gonna do it very easy, I guess. I'm level 17 and they're 14. So I don't know what happened there.
we go. They're beaten and scattered. Take the men and hunt down the stragglers, but I'll, I'll need more of them working, so don't let your guard down just yet. Will do, will do. Source of his strength comes clear. You may have best of the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Wonderful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. Perils cannot submit to live something like that. You cannot survive, whatever. Defeat the masked mage. Wisdom of Paragon should be bought by low by mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? That is what I feared. They are bringers of chaos or ascensions. Give their that. They are suspicious, but are correct. But I would have been manipulating the best tribe, the beast tribes. Pardon? No, if Shadowlands have I encountered as soon as before, I would have never spoken to you in my homeland. How did you know once I hail? Wait, I do begin to see you have been blessed with a special gift. Are you alright, lad? If I knew a big mugger that it would have been hiding in the bushes, I would have left a squad. Napping investigation that closed those reavers were the ones spiriting folk away in the dead of night and this bastard here was pulling all the strings rightful simplistic but not inaccurate future uh, 
I was looking to see if there was text to speech for the game. And apparently there's not. At least not yet. That would be awesome if there was. Reading that shit is uh, just a little more. Okay. Uh, report to Rainer at Coral Tower. Back up here. I'm assuming after we do the, hand in this quest, it's going to probably take us over to uh, Aleport next. So let's see. Let us see. as busy as it was uh yesterday was that the uh marauders oh i never got that one up there You can go inside. Yeah, I need to attune to the Marauders one, and then I'll be good. go make food before this next one so that way I can get it done and out the way but we'll see um, hmm. maybe I'll wait a little bit going to basically reward me. Then you Admiral la la la. Admiral B. I'm just going to start going by the first letters of their name. So Some of that this have... is the adventurer oh, sure. I've been Sorry. reading about in the field reports. I am Melve Bluefisfin, Admiral of Limsalominsa. <laughs> sure. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. Admiral B. Please free fishing. A token of our gratitude. What worth is high regard without just reward after all? Ha! Ah. Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. 
safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the man who foiled the Sahagin. Oh! Oh, I said at the feast. Oh, and don't be late. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Nice. Alright, so we actually got some uh, okay stuff there. This is what they just gave me, right? But I was at level 15, but it's minus one. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Feathered ring, ring of. This one gives me plus one for everything. So it's even better than that. The Ring of Fidelity. Oh, but the Ring of Fidelity gives you plus one for all that other stuff. So then it makes it better for me to wear that. What? How is the ring that I have as level one better than the ring that they just gave me? At level 17. <laughs> okay. I guess you just have to treat the, the quests like WoW quests until you get to the, uh, the cutscenes. And then you pay attention. At least that's what it feels like, personally. Uh, drowning. Okay, we could have gone there back from running back there, but that's okay. That's why my mouse felt like... I guess at some point I pressed the uh, mouse button where it, it changed my DPI to 400. So I felt like my mouse was taking a while to move around. Now I set it back to 600. With those good old presets. I ordered a, uh, a new cable for my Swotor mouse, which uses the, the same and has the 12 buttons on the side. It's the uh, technically Swotor Razor uh naga mouse but the cable that i have is really messed up so i unplugged it but i ordered i was able to find one and it looks like it's the same one since it's just the the same model um so whenever that comes in i'm going to try using that again since that's a it's a great mouse We'll go down to the okay, where are we headed now? Like the package. Um which one's the lower level? Airship landing, maybe? I don't know if that's a completely separate thing. Yeah, completely separate. Yep. <laughs> Bulwark, Bulwark Hall. How about that one? Aha. Okay. That one's the uh, the lower deck. Now we know. Like the pa acid or package from J. Thanks. You get to B. Darren. Back upstairs. Yep. I'm just running out this way.
aether flow gauge that using the energy drain fills the aether flow gauge which is required to perform certain actions oh. This thing, whoa, why is it so oddly placed right there? Button the dress shoes and then speak with them. Is that what I just said? Put on dress shirts and speak with Zankful. Did he give me some? Dress shoes. Where are they? Right here? Or down below maybe? Uh, I guess they're down. Yeah, okay. Underneath. Fail. Crush shoes. Surprised they're not making me put on an entire suit or something. and sisters of the sea. Join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. This is one of the crystals of light by the navigator. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not, of a towering crystal? It... You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. 
And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations, as once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle Eorzean. of Cartano, they took ah, the field beneath our say. banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. Another vision. <gasps> Here we go. Let's go. Flames to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. Oh shit, the Shadowbringers is risk half life off. and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Six, we're more than half off, a 63% off. Is aught amiss? No. It is nothing. Bloody hells! I think I remember this part when I uh, made the my. I won't go down so um, easily. Um, forward. Um, turge. The first time. We are being watched. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Rider, this 
is raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? I hate that static What's going sound on? To it. Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! Mad snake! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. Louis Swa. General, please. <laughs> Victory may belong to the bold, but so there will the be no victor this day. So he's the immortal flame. She's twin adder, and you the know Admiral this to be true. Maelstrom. Let us Got not it. sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw. And let us be the ones to stand with Louis Swa. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Or relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. But no, I don't no. care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. These guys look pretty sick. Imarat way. Kiss card to God's water dawns. It's like a daredevil helmet or face mask, too. Seize me again. Feast doom the only lamb rides a die dawn. up here huh. 
much cake, I reckon. It's, uh, Apparently you can unlock the glamour system at level 15, so I'm high enough level to unlock. Glamour dresser. Oh, what? We're in a room? Not a luck, like glamour dresser. Armory. Uh, in your in-room estate and squadron barracks and armory can be used to store certain kinds of items. Okay. Uh, please note items only 100% of love can be stored. Okay. Uh, ending journey. Are they? What are these? What scenes? Just dessert. Oh, okay. These are the the main story quests. Oh, I see. That's cool. You can play the the cutscenes too. Nice. You can log out. Nothing. That's cool. I need chest. Crystal ball, bell. To play music, I guess. Yeah, inside here. Neat. Exit room. Okay, that's neat. Uh, that's cool. It's actually really neat. So, if I wanted to unlock the glamour of this stone, now it's time to figure out how you do that. I think the lower decks would be the better area. Esper Bay is lo located in Western Bayan. So how do you... See if there's a suspicious server that proper procedure, right price. I think I've done some of these quests in the past too. Like somebody said, this character you just mentioned. I think they're asking somebody else. <laughs> they're talking to somebody else completely. If 
I had glamour. That's how you do it. Free stance. Containers, uh, use the summoning bell in your in rooms, three cities, residential areas. Suspiciously sober. I might have that quest actually, like right here. Yeah, literally right there. Really do. All right, chat. Um, I'm gonna go eat real quick, and then we'll go ahead and continue here. So I'm just gonna uh, brb it. So I will brb, and then uh, we'll continue. And um, I'm gonna look up this stuff so that way when I come back, I have a good plan of what we're doing next. Like whether it's main story or going the mock glamour or whatever it may be. But brb, get some food yourself. All right, chat, I am back. And now uh, I'm pretty sure we know what we're doing here. What the heck? Teleportation induced, part of battle. Is there any free companies recruiting? There's so many people here. Oh my god. Somebody recruit me. I just nobody talks in uh, like general chat in this game. I realize that. Checks Twitter. Was that what he reads? What? Suspiciously sober, isn't that? I saw somebody. Uh, over here. How do I don't move this thing? This thing's like in the way now. Oh, wait, I just talked to the wrong person. Complete. Wow, that was extremely easy. Aha, that's how you get to Western that thing I see now
proper procedure. Here, I'll hand this in. And then after I hand this in, we can go over to that other place that has the, uh, the thing, uh, the glamour. Or back to sweet mix. Okay, we'll do that once we come back here. It's time we fast travel back. We'll just hand that in. All right. Talk to this person. Wait, what did I say? Suspend it until further notice. Really? What? Can't pay me the best for pay? I thought they could do that. Okay, well, also, uh, yo, Jakeman Cave, yeah, thank you for the follow there, appreciate it. Well, I guess we can go back here then. Oops. Let's go up to the center. And. members how are they talking then? oh get ignored nobody wants to talk to me nobody wants me to join their free company nobody wants my free company So fed up at uh, what's going on there. Tell me, tell me, let me hear it. Yorzian Lions. Either you can't get logged into your account, or the game's still downloading, or you're having issues in the game. Or it's something completely unrelated and I'm not sure. in some letters basically huh. an airship passed to use at your discretion <gasps> your deeds don't go another unnoticed thank you thank you and log into my account. It's been 24 hours, so I requested another code to change the password. Still didn't come with a code, so I submitted a ticket to ask, and hopefully they reflect. Google, you just play the game that I purchased, but I have paid a subscription to play the game that I purchased. <gasps> True. Um, for your login, you're using your username, right? Not your email, because that's one issue or one thing I keep mis mistaking. I keep accidentally using my email. Not my username. Tried username and email? Okay. Wait, were you able to launch the game and did it ask you for like your login information? 
at that point, probably. Yeah, it's asking me for the login in it. Okay. That's what I figured. Can't log in on your phone either. Novice, novice membership granted. You now have access to the Hall of Novice. Register for training exercises by speaking with one of the Smiths or select to get under duty. Ah. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> I hope it is, man. I hope it is for you. I mean, I'm enjoying my time with it right now. Also, the game, um, the Steam sale just started. So the latest expansion is like more than half off. So if I get like a Steam card for Christmas or something like that, I think I'm going to pick it up. The expansion came out back in like July too, which is kind of cool. How much is it on Steam? Uh, it's 20 bucks, I think. FFXIB. Uh, yeah, Shadowbringers. Yep, 1999. It's usually 40 bucks. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? I said it was 63% off. Okay, never mind. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I see, I see. It's because whenever I bought the game... Uh, shoot, it's hard to see. Um, Whenever I bought this game, I got the complete edition. So, like, right here, just to buy the standard edition which I believe comes with the regular thing, it's 20 bucks. But since I bought the complete edition at one point, the complete has the DLC in it. So since they added this to the DLC, it's uh, only 14 for me. It's 14.99. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, Cause I technically have Heaven Sword, Heaven Sword, I think it's called. And, um, the other one is uh the other one's realm were born those are like the two expansion things supposedly this much issues logging into a game yeah i think that's like a common uh issue type thing that with um square enix for some reason that's why it is nice when you do get things like working as it should um it's usually like there's not many issues afterwards it's just getting to that point where it's a uh, it's definitely a pain So there would be a code, but I only link to log in. I can't log in. See the landing area.
Brack thing. I don't know why it's giving me that now. Board the ship. <laughs> ESO sound pretty tasty at the moment. Goodbye, friend. Yeah, they're all being heartfelt and you're on your phone, true. True, true. Yeah, there's some uh, sci-fi parts to the Final Fantasy. But the bitter taste of you can tell that this still. cut scene is a little bit older. Fifteen years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. <laughs> or so Fantasy and sci-fi? But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the dread serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious Conquest. And then it just ends abruptly. Uh -huh. Seen some cutscenes, but I'm trying to trying to not spoil the game for myself. Now I got you. Eorzea, a blighted realm riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. The Empire For all the destruction grasp. it wrought, even Meteor, the great sin, failed to yield even us Meteor. control over it. <laughs> and for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning. Rotten nigh to the core. Yet it must be saved. Question mark, question mark, Only question mark. Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one, one mind, Lord Van Balzar. <laughs> Get what you're saying, Dev. 
Senior engineers, please report to Magitech research following scheduled inspection. I kind of remember this part a little bit as well. Ha ha ha. Is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. <laughs> yeah, but, but these I last few the scenes of that up voice the acting in it. For lost after Cartner. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? If I just changed. What if I just stayed I like this all the time? Doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus is you would never know. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, my, my lord. Please call me Nero. Tell me, Please where were you born? Nero. Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? Yes. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials <laughs> will not change your fate. The face doesn't, doesn't match the voice. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess. Slayer. Miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Work, work. Garland. Soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek. Magitek. <laughs> It's basically me. Me when I turn on this voice. Alright, we can turn it back now. We can turn it back now. We made it. Hey, so you're looking for a FFT? Yeah, it's a uh, very close to friendly faces. We're gonna look, look, look. Uh, and always hang around. Hey, I would be happy to join. Let's see if I can respond. Very close and full of friendly faces who can join you on your FFXIV adventure. Ah, company boo. I actually, you know, it's funny. I literally just saw somebody with that thing. Rian's uh, horror story. See how many people are online. Uh, free company. Turns. Okay. Okay, you okay. Inactive actions. Oh no, they don't have anything inactive. 
Oh. You have an FC in the goblet and... Oh, there we go. Now it's active. <laughs> Whoa. Most of us uh, AFK, so there's free to come by and also Discord servers, Discord server as well. Awesome. I'll okay. out. Nice. Your defect duration is increased in that thing. Nice. You're making friends, so proud. <laughs> Yeah, finally. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Where do we need to go? Uh, present this to that person. Got it. New. Wow. Even this place is busy. Jeez. Talk to where are they? Right here. Whoa. Oh, this is a weather forecast. What? Interesting. to go listen to that song about day go by mm. dude why does it always happen so while i'm in the thing in one of these It limits you to the abilities that you can use. Because I'm technically downscaled to level 11.
for that up there uh damage of that okay cool cool yeah this is right here is another starting area So you are the Lamincin envoy. Voice acting. And an adventurer besides. The realm owes much to you and yours. We're On starting behalf to get more of voice our fair nation, moments. I bid you welcome. Please. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. No, I me. am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Admiral. I do. Now I think it goes to regular, just them talking. Yep. I like the the auto progressor though, um, for the like conversations. So once you hit uh, a certain level two in the main quest or main story, or once you get to a certain part in the main story, you choose one of the three alliances to join, or yeah, brand companies as they're technically called. This is Lord of the Rings, which are you in? I haven't chosen yet. I might go Maelstrom, or I might do Twin Adder, which is what she is. But I haven't decided yet. From my understanding, there's not much differences. It's just which location you'll be going to the most. Apparently, endgame, there are slight stat changes and and different like your um, like outlooks in a way, but. Each grand company has an equivalent gear with the same stats. Just go with the one you feel like jo joining. As to the chocobo, the differences there are is starting barding. As the birdie comes with GC themed, it can be changed later, of course. Yeah, for the most part, they say just go whichever one you feel comfortable. But honestly, I might go with with her because I like her um uh her people, like how they're they're load out and stuff. It's kind of cool. So you want to be a conjurer? Aha. Uh -huh. Essential oil. <laughs> Back through here, I think. Botanist that oh you know what? Kinda of dumb. I think I could just go like this, yeah. See this? 
This company is a lot more active than the last one I was in. There's only 38 people. This tells you when they were last online. Huh. Three days ago. The highest one is Chicken Tendy. 288 days ago. That's funny. <laughs> away from keyboard. Oh, so that's what that means. The seat is away from keyboard. Ah. <laughs> Trade mentor, PVE mentor. Oh, oh there's their Discord. Happy says happy Halloween. Still. Oof. M K three N G H. It says Aha. I was typing it in wrong. Yeah, you might as well. I would say join any company you can. I mean, half the time I join companies on, uh, or not companies, I join guilds on Star Wars and then I get kicked because I'm not active. But then I just join, join back or join again, uh, or join back or join a different one whenever I return to the game. So. Do you want one of my melons? I said, what do they do? <laughs> For returner, uh, returners and newbies, you can leave it if you want. It's usually pretty toxic. Oh, you can. Wait, is there? There's a novice network. Oh, really? How do you join it? It's a minion that follows you. I think new players get thrown in. Really? Oh, well, I guess I didn't get thrown in. <laughs> uh...
No, no. Oh, wait. They said no, no. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I could just do that. A <laughs> few. Okay. Oof. Almost left without them. Yeah, that's a rough part. What, this one that I'm in right now? It's pretty cool. Actually, while I wait, um, I'm going to change my display settings real quick. Oh, there they are. Wow, they got here fast. Jeez. Oh, that's a melon. <laughs> it shows un uncontainable jubilation. Use. Melon minion. Uh... Mount? No, not mount. Uh, minion. Now this is what I was looking for from the beginning. Like somebody like a cool group like this, you know? Like chill. Oh god, that's very bright now. What is that? When you ask the boys, they pull up quick. <laughs> Literally a pet melon. I almost boarded the airship too right before. Once you get your login set up, you use your referral link. Yeah, it should it should give you some like cool stuff, I guess. Um, just like starting items. I'm glad that I found somebody's because it, it gives you that um, this one item, it lets you use a hundred times. Well, you have a hundred of them, but you can use them to uh, get across uh, fast travel places for free. So I think that's really neat that they you know, like gave you something like that. There we go. Ah, uh, it's like Steve having the tickets until you unlock fast travel. Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh, I guess. The Husting Strip. Ah. <laughs> ah is my new word. Down here. This was my original starting area when I when I started playing this game. Yeah, this is where the um, alchemist and other classes are. The uh um, Turge. Um, Turge or whatever it's called. It's here as well. Love this new location, huh? <laughs> ah, It'll tell you which one. Limsa. I thought I smelled stale ale. It's this one, Ulda, I won't hold it Limsa, you. which is the one I started at. Warrior, and says, a you that don't other one that was Sahagin. Rindina, I think it's called. Welcome Rindia. to the Sultanate of Ulda. I am Rauban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Trade formalities. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Basically a letter about that cutscene we saw earlier with the giant battle. Yeah, that's a cool area to start at. This is like a sand city type thing, from my understanding. Like a desert in a way. The other one's like more of like a neutral and then the other ones look kind of like a forest area yeah i mean there's there's ups to each each area i'd say james can skip through this straight up you can now make use of the airship routes connecting three nations before you make or the ship you may you must pay the fee Oop. All of the sea. Oh, whoops, I have to go back. <laughs> Wait, I think the place that I wanted to go to is around here. Um, Stern. Yeah, the scrolling maps are confusing. No, I get that. It's a little, uh, a little weird at times. I should probably just expand it, especially when I pulled up so many times. Instead of like grabbing it the way I am.
Surprisingly, the team, the, the team, the game takes a bit to, to load at times. There we go. Yeah, that's probably better. Honestly, if I just pulled it up like this. That way we can just see it. All right, time to choose one. I still can't put the cowl on because if I do, then I'll lose uh, my headpiece. Yeah, these are these areas are pretty cool. Beauty is the only scalp beat rising to the challenge. That's continuation of the rising. Oh wait, did I pick up a different one? I guess there's three inside here. I didn't realize. Uh. Okay, down there. I doubt him. Looking at the bar class right now, and I don't really understand what they mean by dots. Dots is damage over time. So it's when you use an ability and it does like damn it like like this ability right here, it says uh deals <laughs> ah. It it deals damage over a certain amount of like Usually like, I don't know, whatever the set amount is over a certain amount of time. Makes sense. Yeah, dots is like a very like MMO term. I'm almost level 20. And I'll finally be able to use my mount. My, by the way, ETW. Uh, thank you for the follow there. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And to hello. I gave you the melon. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. I was going to say something, but then I always feel weird saying that I stream. So I didn't say something, but hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> and thank you for the melon. My mod here, De Dev, saw you give me the melon. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, where are we going? Down here? Fisherman's Guild. Now you can see my confusion at some things in real time. <laughs> here we go.
I'm just running through some of the uh, whatever quests we have here. The unlockable quests and all that. I'm trying to play this game for the first time. Having login issues. Challenge log. Uh, it contains a list of entering objectives across a wide range of categories. Uh, each unique challenge you complete counts toward the overall completion. Okay, cool. Oh, we get a completion bonus for this one. Since I never did it, I guess. Wow. That was fast. That was really fast. Uh, oh, we have to go all the way back over to Old Dot and the other area again. Are you a Layla? Lala? This is a lot. Uh, is that the la 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 the class like the race wah wah uh i don't think so the race uh do you play on steam or the actual game uh, i play on steam Or the actual game. This is the actual game. Oh, you mean dev, probably. <laughs> dev plays on PS4. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's okay. It's just me reading chat anyways forget that you can uh come uh do this commendate people Boom. what's your favorite color red red for the blood of my enemy just kidding uh complete that we still have that thing i haven't gone back here in so long though honestly about to just drop this one i guess uh can you even drop them Range. I wish I could out, but I play PC and don't know much about PS4 or NFC stream like this stream. It makes me happy. I'm a follow. Ah, Life is Strange is a good game. Hit a red though. Ooh. Um, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, like, right ish red in a way like not too bright uh okay here we go speak with them Since I'm right here, I'll talk to them. Oh, 
Oh my God. No way. Now the one time that I say Aleport, we're going back to Aleport. What are the odds of that? Um, What's the best way to get to... I don't know what either one... I don't know whether to ask the free company now or... Should I click and I'm flashing a gaming laptop or imagining? Um... I was with my group and now I'm back. I should stream again. Also, congrats. You should. You should. Huh. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um. How, what's the best way to get to. Uh. Crap, what's the area? The glamour area. Um, something bay. Zep Z Z Zam Bay. I can't remember. What did I unlock the the glamour and the die thing? The glamour area? Yeah, the, the bay thing. There's a little bit of a delay. <laughs> My voice. Let me check something. My voice. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um. Where else are we going? Ah, uh, we'll die here. And right. Ah, shoot. Oh, no. I never attuned to old, uh, what falls? Vesper Bay. That's it. You can get there by the ferry doors. Um. Crap, now I need to figure out what's how we get to Old Da from here. Fairly certain the quest giver is in Western NLM. Yes. Where are you right now? I have a welcome to the FC present for you. Oh shit. Uh oh shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn, that is so quick. What is this? What is this? Gear. Hey. Awesome. What, what a nice. Nice person. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Great. That's so nice. <laughs> Oh, this is the, uh, oh wait, is this just a, <laughs> you can summon the airship minion? That's pretty funny. Oh, snap. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're, now we're flexing. We're showing off the new, uh, new gear. <laughs> Need anything else? Ask away. Uh, we are FC full of crafters and much knowledge. Awesome. What else do we have here? Do I? Uh, so this thing. Okay, I see how it gives me better. Wow, all this stuff is like perfect leveling. 
should be good up until level 25. Wait, I melded the gear two. It should be good up till level 25. Oh, really? So it'll like, um, compare stats before replacing. Sweet. Oh, is that, that must be that logo right there. I see like the waist thing and that that's why those are third ah, i see okay that's sick mmos are confusing i totally get that though <laughs> sometimes stats are better than higher level weapon slash armor stats is greater than item level i don't even know where the item level is to be honest unless if it's the defense okay now, like, but I'm gonna ask. So like, I have the friendship circlet. Should I wear that until 25? Since I get 25 or 20% XP bonus, or wear this wonderful hat you gave me. There we go. Your stats are uh, the top. It says item level 16. Wait, am I, am I blind? Oh, right there. 12. I wear the friendship circlet. All the level boost stuff is a must. So now I'm 11. Got it. Cool. Cool. And if you hover over your gear, it'll say the top as well. Uh, like I see that's, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're saying like for each item. Okay like 1, 18, 11, 16, 19, 10, all of that. And then all of those combined equals this. Got it, got it, okay. It equals like your your gear score anyway. The must, I can make another hat for 25 when you can. Uh, wear the level boost hat anymore, okay. It averages them all together, okay, gotcha. It's so weird how it's like 18, one, 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 one. Well, that's probably why it brings me down because all these are ones and then it drops me to 11. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Wait, that's the melon. There we go. Is there a, uh, an emote wheel thing? I don't know whether to ask or be like... I feel like there is. Stance? That's Z now. Yes, there is. Okay. Now we find it out. Uh, now we find it. Turn social moats general. Okay, so these are like all. Whoa. It's an emote tab. Special water float. Wait, can you actually do this anywhere? Or do you have to be in water? Oh, okay. You, ha you actually have to be in water. That makes sense. That's cool, though. Visor. You can add emotes to, to your favorite. Execute. Sit. Change pose. Expressions. I noticed that this game is very uh, emote heavy. And I like that. It's, I feel like there's a lot of games that like don't use the emotes. 
a lot of MMOs and things like that. So you can just press one button. Uh, you can also drag them into your hot bar, so you can just press one button. I I actually I noticed that too, which is pretty cool. I just drop like happy. <laughs> That's cool. Cry. I'm just gonna leave cry all the time because it's still 2020. Uh, okay, so now I need to figure out how to get to... Hmm. Now that I'm geared up out the wazoo. Ah, there's the, uh, the landing thing. Game becomes more RP friendly with the adding of emotes and stuff. There is becoming more RP friendly with adding more emotes and stuff. Yeah, I did notice there's a, a good amount of, like, RP, RP and stuff. Just cool. Um, personally, like the game that I've always actually usually played as an MMO is really like the biggest game I've played was um, uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. That's always been the the game that I have put countless hours into. And Final Fantasy is one uh, where I've tried one time before. Like I said, got to level 37, and then after playing Dragon's Dogma, it reminded me of this game. So I figured I, I wanted to try it again. So uh, here we are. Playing once again. Percy Wayne. I noticed, um, is there a reason, like a lot of people don't talk in the, the Say channel. Like I, it was, it was hard to, but obviously before you invited me i believe it was um is there like a reason people don't talk in like general uh whatever it's called like actually it might be better to go down to road exchange it's a great game and becomes more entertaining with friends that's why i was looking for like a, a group to you know like actually be in It's a really cool world and everything too. Actually, since we're down here, let me go pick this in. Or, uh, being attuned to this. And am I a friend? Of course, Dev. And you'll be able to, you'll probably be able to join up. Once, uh, once you get in here too. I think most people rather shout over say since it shout is, is a brighter color. Okay. Is, is there a difference between shout and yell and emote flooding? True. Haha. <laughs> could happen to you pick up this one here say is close shout is within the area and yell is across the entire state huh. now i see that makes a lot of sense okay so now we can head over to this person to do this. Say, you're speaking to me. I have most classes level. Do you have any bards in the company? go to the gladiators guild and grab this ah oh, shoot <laughs> i i don't know what it is but the music for this section right here is really cool 
and like it's like relaxing. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like that's where it's really going to keep your interest, Dev. There's the uh, Thaumaturge guild area. Is she? Huh. Barking. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I. <laughs> That's funny. Little baby PR. Where is my blind? Oh, I guess I have to go to this thing. Wait, but that leads back here. This leads through here. I don't think I'll see as one of the best soundtracks. If you're like an EDM nerd like me, there's at least an EDM. It's a bunch of their songs. That sounds pretty dope, actually. I'll have to, uh, to check that out. It's called Pulse. Yo, smart cow 101 thank you for the follow there how you doing how you doing hey yo i'm just hoping that uh this music doesn't get me dmca'd for it's evident uh, evidential YouTube upload. But my brain was malfunctioning for a second. Okay, what's going on, memory? <laughs> what, the, uh, the Death Stranding sound? That what gotcha? Yeah. <laughs> no, that was me. <laughs> As the follower notification. One of many. There we go. Okay. Got that. I figure eventually I'll come and do these, but for now. Let's see. No, I always keep forgetting that you can just, you know, use these things to travel around. Yeah, that's what, that's the one thing I've I've always heard about the community. Uh, Dev is I know, of course, you everywhere you go, you have some some uh, some bad apples, that stuff, but. I've always heard that Final Fantasy community has always been very kind and things like that. Um, just from me even like me playing Dragon's Dogma the other day, I was thinking about playing the game and then I saw the event on this server, Genova, um, 
with people running around and things like that for the um uh like the christmas event or something and there was a huge line at uh like limsa ominsa i i think it's called um and i i thought that was really cool and i was like you know what this is the uh the final push for me to to go back to the game to give it a second shot so after seeing that i was like you know what i'm making a new character and i'm going on genova because that was really cool got some bad eggs but the overall community is nice yeah that's that's what I, i've noticed and i think that's cool it's always good to have a uh, a good community like that and i was saying earlier as well i think it's really really neat that they they've developed the final fantasy website in a in a in a way where it's like its own wiki too like where you can look up job guides you can look up um quests literally anything you can look up i think that's really neat <laughs> I remember actually going to this place one time before on my original character. I think the cross-platform part is really cool too between uh pc and ps4 Saucer is my favorite place to pass time and chill. <laughs> like a casino, isn't it? Like a. The Manderville Golden Saucer. <laughs> Take that quest completion. Chocobo Racing is my fave. <laughs> now accessible. Where do I? So I have a few. Um, I'll have to, to open my inventory in a second here. About to go bankrupt. Whenever we get loaded in. Is this average loading time, by the way? Has anybody noticed? Like right now, does it usually load in faster? I think I have this on my external hard drive. But take my melon into the minion. Fighting, I guarantee you'll win. Use a different currency, you won't go broke. <laughs> good, good. For all your dreams, uh, dreams come true if you have enough Manderville Gold or Saucer points, MGP. Gil can be exchanged for MGP at the main counter, in the middle of the entrance square. Is 10 Gil for one. Uh, cannot be converted into the Gil. Okay. Airship Picketer. We have uh, these. Where do where do silver chocobo feathers? I know it says can it be exchanged at calamity salvagers for special rewards? SSD will help, but Genova is a very full server, and you're placing your you're playing during peak times. It may be a uh, little load screen heavy. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like gonna be a uh, that much of a like affects it should I go through all these right now scratch it rich passion for fashion 
a lot of times as well if you never loaded the resources it can take uh, a touch longer initially major city swap feathers for green gear or dies usually near a moogle mail okay for the diamond casino heist looks different <laughs> true i think oh that's this person right here Are you one of the people I need to talk to as well? Ten AM Earth time. That's funny. Back here. Oh wait, that's not the right person. Oh, I'll take all your quests. Give me it all. Melon just split in half. I'll have to find the uh, the minion fighting area. Basic rules of the game before you begin, however, several steps that must be completed. Use it for user cards and amateurs to register your card list. The card list can be via the gold set, saucer options in the character and main menu. Next, I oh, a lot challenging masters. How do you? Oh, that's why I got bumped into that one earlier. Because I meant to do that. I don't know why that just pulled up, though. What? So. Is it a cheap way to get MGP? Uh, small version, like scratchies and big weekend lotto every week huh put all your money on the melon do not doubt i want to bet on melons Almost to level 20. Almost there. Oh yeah, you should probably get this. <laughs> you can wear the bunny outfit in your challenge log. Things, uh, there's things you can do in the daily chunks of MGP each day that take, uh, don't take. Hey, Yar. Finger falling. Yar, don't push the window out. Monster toss. What is this? I'm stuck. Sure. Oh, uh, I don't have one. Never mind. Oh, this gives you 100. Dark matter used to repair equipment for levels 1 to 10. Is it up here? I think so. Uh, yeah, right there. Here's the quest and you'll get free tokens to use some machines. Uh, well, actually... 
Oh, actually, uh, the Choco racing and triple triad takes some time, but not too bad. Have the money next week, I swear. You're not the deck collector. Uh, <laughs> say that one. Oh, is this the card game? Complete. Mahjong. Ma Jong. Like dominoes, sorta? Okay. You can queue up for it in the, the uh it's interesting. If I jump, am I gonna die? Find out. Oh, okay. Nice. Now you won't die. take you to one HP. Oh, really? Okay, that's sick. Thanks. That's good to know. I love the one thing I really like about like health in this game is you do like regenerate it really fast. I think that's really nice. I should make that like a follower notif notification. The quest completion noise. I love adding game like specific sound effects. Fashion report. Begins with themes for 11 different equipment. Master or Judge Adventures attire and the base reward. Unless you die in combat, then, then you die. Shh. <laughs> well, in that case, I kind of figured to be honest, but <laughs> I need to start grabbing these things. Is it even down here? No, I think it's above me. This one's down here, though. Event square. We're getting very sidetracked, but that's okay because we're getting through uh, other stuff. Is there a way I can move this thing? Because it, it keeps blocking some like text. Yes. <gasps> a layout. Aha. Got it. And you can customize your entire HUD. Resize stuff and move. Ooh. Save. Is that? There we go. That's a little better. That way it won't be in the way like there. You could also disable the empty gray boxes too. Are they? I might have to look again. Oh yeah, there's a there's a way that you can make all these into one, correct? The inventory. Some people don't mind them. 
But sometimes they take up a lot of space. Oh, you mean like these, em these empty ones? That's kind of cool. Um, the inventory. <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh... Character settings, I think. Character configuration. Control item settings. Standard versus none. No. Inventory inverse. Wait. Wait. Normal. Open all. Aha. Bam. Look at that. A. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Now we can just open everything at once. Nice. That's cool that they um, incorporate things like that. Fire hand at Jumbo. So, what's the. Uh, Um, what's the, the minion fighting thing called? I feel that breeze a lot. <laughs> World of Wonders. You want to hide the gray boxes, go to character config, hot bar settings, settings, and the top you can hide on the sign slots. I think right now I'll leave them, but that's good information to know for sure. The show. Ah, here's the gate. Go. Oh, wait. Um. Oh, wait. I think we need to go this way. I personally I'm kind of used to it from just like other MMOs but I can see why like other people would be potentially annoyed by it Because I figure eventually it'll fill up, you know eventually so uh maybe ah minion fighting is on the second floor is it is it called minion fighting <laughs> you take the elevator board of vermin yeah second floor next to the chocobo racing Okay, check it out in a second. I don't know why my, my nose is turned bottom after that sneeze. Ma 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 master rolling. had an answer. Godbert Mandaril, the dream. Wow, thank you, sir.
Kubo racing or okay cool uh i pit it's a pity you don't meet the owner of lord manorville until later he's such a character i think i i actually like i was looking up a video that like um <laughs> do you meet him in the main story quest or main scenario quests or whatever or is it just like a side quest eventually well there He's a side story, but it makes some appearances in the main story, but much later on. Okay. Gotcha. By the way, um, I saw that the latest expansion right now, since I bought the complete collection, like whenever I first played, the latest expansion is only like $15 for me uh, since the Steam sale just started today. So I think if I do get like steam money or something like that for Christmas or just like anything left over, I think I'm going to use it on the new expansion, even though I've never played any of the other expansions, um, including what, like Realm Reborn and Heaven's Sword. I've never done any of those, but since it's 63% off, I don't think you can really beat that. And there's not really any other games out right now for me to really um to drop everything on ah lord of okay right there latest one is the best heaven sword is the only is the only challenger Stormblood was kind of... I keep forgetting that... What, there's... So how many are there? Three? Just be lucky you don't have all those ARR quests anymore. They are very... You are very lucky. I'll take your word. <laughs> Simcock. Nice. ARR is base game. Okay, Realm Reborn. Okay, I got it. Uh, is base game Heaven Sword, Stormblood, Shadowbringers current. Okay, gotcha. Got it. That makes sense now. Uh, Minion Master. Do I just like go up to this thing? Aha. AR was very nice to me as a 1.0 player, but it does drag on and because it was rebuilt from the ground up They didn't Really put VA in it. Yeah, that's that's where it gets me personally. That's where it kind of like hurts Ah the voice acting But I'm assuming I have noticed like the heavy points like I kind of need I, I personally I feel like when it comes to the story that playing by like kind of like wow in a way where you skip through a lot of like the quest pickup and the quest completion dialogue but then when you get that cutscene that has dialogue in it like you read it but then of course when you get the voice acted areas those are like the key moments and that's kind of like how i've kind of sort of been gearing my like play style so that way it doesn't stay too grindy but then it's also like you're not sitting there reading paragraph after paragraph and like okay where is this going especially with me streaming it and having to read everything my voice gets so dry so quick that's a big emotion to the story yeah and, and that's why I, I really like it is I'm starting to get more areas that do have the 
the voice acting. rank points depending on the outcome types of matches vermin challenge player battles and tournament okay damn play guide uh, oh okay stage one yes commence <laughs> you queue up for it that's funny Can't skip side quest dialogue, but main story you need to read, or you'll miss important stuff. Uh, <laughs> Based bias, though, I remember being young, hard stake to get back from the store after playing, getting a Final Fantasy for the yes. So I love the Final Fantasy in general. My first Final Fantasy game was um, Final Fantasy for or no, 15. Then I went back to 14, and that's it. Those are the only games I ever played. Can we see my melon in action? <laughs> one on one battle, each will. Okay, let's see. It looks like it is, because I have the wind up this thing. Try selecting a minion from your minion hop bar. All right, let's go with the melon. Select the minion, it will be placed into your summoning queue. Each minion has a summoning cost, which range from 10 to 30. Okay. C. During a brief period, your summoning gauge is capped at 60 points. Do a quick select lineup. Okay. Wait, do we actually move it? Gauge. Battles begin. All the minions placed in your summoning queue are during the brief. Now appear on the field. Now give orders to summon minions and commence your assault. With that summoning capacity, has been expanded to 240 points. Gauge displays on your current summoning bar at the maximum capacity can be found. So many minions will be under the field. Oh my god. Say on the found the hot bar display, try summoning a minion from gate A. Reminds me of like um, Rocket League. So, pro tip the challenge log. You complete all the Lord Vermin challenge log reset by completely spamming the tutorials. And that, that has a big Gabu in it. I can't remember the name of the hand. Free MGP. Okay. Does it auto do things for you? X amount of 10 minions can be placed in a summoning queue. Keep your eye on the summoning gauge. Demand of the battlefield to make sure to use this feature. The next part of the tutorial, Wayward Hatchling has volunteered service to help demonstrate minion movement. To move a minion, you must select the unit. I select the unit as intended. Left click on a minion to select it. I'll try selecting the. Okay. Attack. Oh, 
Oh, that would be cool if you could like see your character like up there or like up on the other side. They're funny. Attack. So I'm gonna defeat the behemoths. Oh, these guys. Like little pigs. I just select the to perform a special ability. Damn. Oh, okay, that's cool too. It tells you what's like good against what. It's neat. Turn to the gates to lick their wounds. <laughs> so you do it five times as a total of 27,000 MGP for basically doing nothing. Doing this thing? Jeez. What do you use? Uh, is it just like cosmetic things or like other little like stuff for MGP? Like to use it on? Select them and then go to another gate. Ah. Ah, that's cool. You can teleport them. MGP is my uh cosmetic, there's mounts, etc. Housing stuff. MGP is for special mounts, exclusive gear and hairstyles. Ooh. Hairstyles, you say. Cosmetics are the true end game. <laughs> That's funny, but said it. <laughs> Is that something that's like known? <laughs> to meme, okay. It is known. <laughs> That's funny. Except only is naturally strong against arcane stones, allowing you to inflict greater damage to those structures. That's true. True. I can't tell you how many collections I have in my, uh, like collections of gear and stuff like that I have in my, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic area. <laughs> Do people, uh, I guess this might be a dumb, give us, was a, uh, and steal outfits. This might be a dumb question, but do people are using the cherry bombs? Where are oh, these. Oh, these guys. Got it. Do people buy cosmetics? Like, so cosmetics that you can get on the store, I noticed that there are some. Mog Station? Is that like. Like, are those glamour styles, I guess you could say? Real money is spent. Lots of real money is spent. You can use IRL money for exclusive stuff. As much as I can't force myself to go back into WoW, their transmog system blows the glam cabinet out the water, in my opinion. 
personally, my favorite system that I've ever dealt with when it comes to outfits is Star Wars The Old Republic. But then again, I'm also biased towards it because it's also my, like, like my favorite MMO out there. Um, but the way it works in that game is you literally just like you open up your character and then there's an outfit tab. You click on the outfit tab. And then if you have the equipment in your inventory, you just click it and it fills the gear slots. So like helmet, hands, legs, feet, uh, all that stuff. And then it's literally, you, you click apply and boom, that's it. Boom, done. Now you're wearing your standard gear and now you're, you, sometimes you have to pay some money, but it's like less than 30 credit, 30,000 credits, which is, which is like really cheap. But now whatever gear you're wearing, boom, you're, you have like the rest of that stuff. That's the easiest I've ever, uh, I've ever had when it comes to gear. But I know like these systems, you have to like glamor it for your, whatever your stuff is like changing that specific item to that. Uh, the issue is having to physically have that. Uh, let's just say, wait, I, know, I missed a few. Not ashamed to say I spend 21 on a fairy outfit and another 21 on an anime school outfit. Nothing wrong with that. That's all right. Cosmetics is where I'm like, hey, I totally get it. There's so many outfits out there where I will spend money to as well. If I, if it's something I really think is really dope. Um, 20, a little much at times, but even personally, I've seen a few that I thought were pretty sick. Uh, the Val, uh, uh, Transmog system was the best purchase I've ever made in this entire game, and its accessibility is much better than storage, is also much larger. I actually wear it though, the issue is storing it all. I do have a mail, la la. <laughs> Don't judge me. Right. I mean, it's 2020, wear whatever you want, right? Amazing. No judgments here. You can't tell the difference anyways. <laughs> True. <laughs> I love how the person's name is Simcock. All right, so where are we headed for? Let's get back to the... Uh, main quest stuff here we have a few things to hand in too like ah shoot oh okay that one's not too bad uh so you want to be a jockey that one's not too bad i guess we'll go here might as well wonder what race i'll make my character probably human dragons aren't half bad Another thing I want them to adopt is a system similar to Guild, Guild Wars 2 for crafting. I need more Lalas for a sacrificial altar. <laughs> I've heard that... I watched a video that was like explaining things and I've heard that they, uh, they look very innocent, but there's not, they're not so innocent. But I don't know the, uh, the meaning behind all that. Or maybe it was just a meme. Trying to convert the entire race on that Final Fantasy XIV to Aura for eye candy. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't realize what time it is. <clears throat> where I have my crafting items in it. <clears throat> crafting storage, and I don't need to pull them out into my personal bag just to craft.
Ha! <laughs> wrong. Wrong pipe. Ha! <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry, all the communication tonight and the uh, the talking is uh, it's getting to me. <laughs> no, I appreciate. Honestly, everyone that's been coming by tonight, all you guys talking, everything, it's awesome, and I appreciate it. Um, there's a lot of nights where it's very quiet in here. So it's nice when there's like an active chat communication going on because it keeps me busy and that's what I like doing while I'm streaming. So it's all yeah, it's great to have you guys here, by the way, on a on a real note as well. Um <clears throat> water would kill you. But uh oh this is the is there a difference. Oh, male or female? Sure. Now possess a fledging chocobo registration form. <clears throat> um, but how did it go? It went well. It was, uh, it was an interesting one, to say the least. But uh, it, it was good, I'd say. Uh... Now one's gonna go back and race, but I don't really feel like going back and racing right now. So I'm gonna untoggle this one for now. <clears throat> um, where else are we headed? Over here to Alport, and we have this one, which is back here. So I'm gonna go back here. <clears throat> Uh, waterboard the streamer with the hydrate can. That's funny. <laughs> hydrate now falls under self harm, and before Twitch bans the hydrate option for channel points. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, okay, let's go ahead and this in. So I've been trying to do it for a while now, but I haven't gotten around to it. I want to go do that glamour system, and I think now I can finally take this, uh, uh, the fairy docks thing to the location that I need to go to. So, we'll see if we can do that. And then... We'll probably be uh, heading out soon. Smart, smart cat ducking out. I'll be in game if you need me. Sounds good. Hey, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for chatting. All that good stuff. Um, so I, I really do appreciate it. <clears throat> That's what I kind of thought, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. But got it, Gary. Thank you for the gear as well. For real, I I really appreciate all that stuff. This is a good uh, setup. <laughs> Safe journey adventure, thank you. Beauty reborn. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, 
god, what are they gonna do to me? But yeah, this Saturday. 10 a.m. I'm looking to start it. Um, I do have it in the panels already for the charity stream. But... 10 a.m. Eastern time. Probably gonna do... I'm probably gonna start with just chatting. I need to find the webcam that I got to you to set up for my uh my pack openings. See, that, yeah, that reminded me, of Pokemon. Dude, I've got I have two of these. We've got Pokemon cards we're gonna open. We've got some lots I'm finally gonna open and look. And this is just one of two. This is all magic cards that I will be opening as well. Well, although it technically is already open, but like here's just one of all of these that I'll be going through to see what there is. Um, and like I said, I said this earlier, I'm not really going for that, like, a streamer, like, uh, finding the super expensive ones or anything like that. Like, honestly, these cards and these things, I want to actually learn how to play and use them in the way that they're technically intended to be. But while on top of doing that, seeing if there's anything cool that, like, I do get. And of course, if there is something, then I'll, you know, like probably hold on to it, like package it up or something, keep it in good condition. But if not, like it's not a big deal, in my opinion. Um, uh, okay, so now. <clears throat> See if we can go do the glamour system. Tried learning in the past, but I never got into it. I know I've I've had or I had um a bunch of magic cards at one point, and I had a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon, but I have no idea where any of them went. So that's okay. Maybe one day I'll stumble upon them if my family ever moves. Or once I have my own house and everything. If you go to, uh, if you get any weird messages on a link, do not go to the link. Bots in this game now try and PM you to scam you. Scam you? Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> Honestly, I think I, I think I would be okay. Because typically I don't, especially if like they try messaging with lots or with like links. But that's okay. I appreciate it. Like, I, I mean, as in, like, I think I would be okay, as in I probably would never cook it anyways. But it's always a good tip for anybody else that may potentially click. Arcanus. Boom. I, so I've played Final Fantasy in the past, but when I did, I don't think I've ever seen it as busy yet as, as it is right there. It's so cool how like this this area is always busy. I find that really like really neat. Can I take there now? Okay, now we can go. <laughs> I love AFKing and Wimsa. People watching I always see people people are always like interacting with each other and stuff too like uh, using the emotes and all that stuff it's cool it, it makes it feel like an actual like MMO Christmas times are probably new players like myself true true Uh, I also keep an eye out for new players who need a home. <laughs> like me. I found a home. 
where else is nearby? Are there any? There's no aethers, um, things here. <laughs> I am almost there. Is that? <clears throat> Is this bar right here, is that how much XP I'll get from completing these quests that I currently have? Is that what I'm... Is that, or is that just like... I don't know. That's rested XP. Oh, okay. It's called rested XP? Okay, so that's from logging out or like just chilling in a, uh, the sanctuary thing. Now we can knock these out. Wow, is, is that literally it? Deliver the blood orange to... How's that drink coming along? <laughs> oh, there you go. If you log out somewhere where there's a crescent moon besides the XP bar, you'll slowly build a rested XP. Uh, Dude, if the game gives you XP for chilling, I'm in love. Is it only when you log out or is it when you chill inside of a, uh, a thing too? That's complete. Wow. That's like the, generally like in cities when you log. Okay. Got it. That's one thing I usually always try to do is um, log out in those areas beforehand. So like. Okay, cool. I have the glamour system now, but I don't think I have any cool glamour like items yet. The one I uh, not like annoying, I, well, kind of like semi annoying thing is so because I'm uh, what an arcanist right now, there, we get a lot of cows. But when you equip the cow, it takes off your headpiece. So like every every time it'd be like, here's a cow. And then I would go and equip it. And then it would take off my friendship circlet. And then I would lose out on 20 XP. So I couldn't equip it. But logging out in your houses, cities, I'll get you some nice glamour. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't have to, but I mean, if there's some, whatever, I don't know. I feel bad because I'm just like coming here. <laughs> but I. Uh... No, I will. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm old. laughs> Very docs. Uh, is that is that all I had to do? No, we, we need to deliver the. Wait, I thought we already did that. Color your world. Is that Kiara barking? Pray tell. Deliver a bottle of orange juice. Uh, before she, she requires you to purchase a bottle of orange juice from the merchant by the northern gates. Bring it to her so her thirst might be sated. You breathe talking. Uh, Northgate merchant. Crater. Northgate. North. Up here. Merchant. Aha. Merchant inventor. <laughs> Dapper Dave. That's pretty sick. That's what I want to look like when I grow up. Oni. That's a nice. Uh, that's cool. Hey, do you have any, uh, you know, like orange something or other? Is there a specific, uh, orange juice right here. Is there a specific place that you go to get, um, like glamours or, or something like that? There you go.
feats. You can buy them. Sometimes gear from dungeons looks cool, so you can grab glamour it. Dying. You're now able to dye items. Dye a piece of gear, you must first have the proper colorant. Uh, it can be stored or purchased in uh, that. So you have the proper colorant. Dying an item is easy. Selecting the dying icon from the action or traits interface. Doing that. Market board dungeon. Uh, drop mock stage and it's crafting. Okay. Cool. You can even dye house items. That's cool. Nice. Also, bot strikes again. Always. Also, bot doing that work. Are so when it comes to glamour, every item that you grab or you equip is that that look is added into like a collection, and then when you glamour things, you. It opens up that entire collection of things you've previously worn. Is there a specific glamour collect? Like, is that how that works? I guess I could potentially try it as glamour before even like doing it. Equipped appearance. Ah. So you click on this one and then to the right it shows you the appearance for other stuff aha 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 Okay, cool. Recommend watching a YouTube video if only understand it. Glamour system? Okay. <laughs> Will do. I think I understand it for the most part, though. Like, just general, like, usage. I did watch one a, not, not too long ago, like, earlier today, when I went and made food. So, I think I do. Is the beckon of it to lead them? Oh, I have to lead them all the way over there. Beckon. Too far away. I think I've actually done this one before. But basic glamour is the yeah, glamour prism, and you can choose the glamour to piece to. <clears throat> there are level restrictions. When, when you unequip that item, do you lose that glamour? So if I glamour an item and then I equip something else. This guy's all the way down there. Made you something. <laughs> Stays on that item that you glamour, but no, it doesn't transfer over to the new item. Okay. That's what I figured. Okay, but if you put it into your glamour dressing by you make glamour plates at a glamour chest ah okay so then you can apply that thing to the new item and it's like got it i think i understand yes cool instead of just going around and continuously glamouring previous thing. Like all plates are various full complete outfits I like. Gotcha. Towards okay. you. <laughs> All 
Alright, I need a uh, Pussy Don't Need a Prism every time. Okay, that's also really cool too. Just for the initial putting the item into the dresser. Ah, <laughs> it's a snowman. Or should I say snow woman? Is this thing that I'm doing public? Like, can, can you see it too? Or... I figured it's an instance thing. Nods? Oh, really? I can... Almost there. And then... Uh... To your enemies, but not the dude you're escorting. there yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hop off soon here um, after this transaction and uh, handing in my my quests <laughs> yeah dev thanks for uh, hanging out as always man I hope you get your your game sorted out soon here so that way uh you're able to play too so now should i take this and glamour this item onto that um urban coat yes Past. <laughs> That's fresh. <laughs> now I just need a so then now I can go to this. Okay, I see. And I can hit that and whoa. It's a very <laughs> whoa. Okay, I guess I don't have any dyes on me right now. Other than pink. <laughs> Ooh. That, was, that looks pretty cool too. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Does it go select another item? Oh, whoops. Yar. I heard her. No, 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 that's the one die without the X. Oh. This? This, 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 aha. Oh, okay. Dalamon die and wine die. Okay, I see. That's, I was looking at the wrong one. So then we can hit die. Bada bing, bada boom. Bam. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Snazzy. 
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Whoops. On buttons. Doesn't exist. All right, I need to thank you very much, um, but I also need to go. Actually, hmm, is this a, is this considered a sanctuary? Let's see, and the nice thing is this will last me for a while too. So that's that's really cool. Go to a city or south housing area. Okay, is this considered a sanctuary? Right here. I go inside Aleport, I guess we'll find out. Prince. It's actually a sick coat. <laughs> yes, it is a sanctuary. Nice. Cool. So then we can log out right here. And that'll be, uh, that'll be good. All right. Well, right here. Is where I'm gonna stop for today then um, thank you for, for coming by everybody as always um, I appreciate it thank you for the, the gear and getting me set up and all that good stuff um, I will be back on tomorrow at some point most likely probably not anymore